This is the same species as found in Canada down to Brazil, but the population here in Costa Rica is much smaller than in North America. White-tailed deer feed mainly on leaves because they are browsers, but they also feed on fruit, seeds, flowers, fungi, and bark. They can be found all alone or in small groups. That flashy white tail is used for signaling each other. Notice the light and dark markings on their head that distinguish them from brocket deer. Also notice that they keep their head up high, unlike the brocket deer. Fawns are born in the dry season between February and March. White-tailed deer are polygamous, and the males fight with other males over breeding rights. Their antlers come in handy for this. Bucks lose their antlers in January or February, and the emerging new ones are covered in velvet, a protective covering. Bucks remove the velvet by rubbing against trees. They also rub their scent glands on their forehead to leave messages for other deer. Now that sport hunting has been made illegal in Costa Rica, populations of deer are sure to rebound. That's good news for the coyotes.